All right, hello, hello, hello. Yet another 3WC match today. I'm not here to commentate in Germany, Canada. Solo, unfortunately, not going to have anyone to bounce off of this time around on the B stream. But, uh, already getting into the bands here, actually. I got to catch up a little bit here. Hit in one, hit in three bands for Germany, not wanting to play the, the hidden against Canada here. The distance hidden and the low AR hidden pick. Nomad 2 and HR1 are going to be going for Canada. Nomad 2, tapping, low aim, just your typical Nomad 2 really, not wanting that. And HR1, pretty balanced consistency. There's a little bit of everything. But presumably scared of the HR prowess on uh, Team Germany. Germany with... That's a bit of a downgrade in the roster from last year. Not quite as bad as certain other teams you still have. Thriller and Shark are actually pretty heavy hitters. Killer especially. Meanwhile, Canada. Canada with a bit more of a question, a couple more question marks for Canada. I would argue it's uh, by no means a bad team, but I think. Gonna be up for a bit of a challenge here. I'm living up to the standard of Germany. Germany going to be picking DT2. The stamina pick of the pool up front. DT stamina. As one would expect, very light on the aim. Relatively low on the finger control. Control becoming increasingly common in this slot nowadays, but this one's still pretty, pretty conventional, plays but relatively safe. Not a pick there's much to say about for me, actually, because I, I'm, I'm not. I don't necessarily look at the German roster and think that this is a huge pick for them. And I certainly don't look at the Canada roster and think they'd struggle with this map at all. It, uh, especially, I mean, it is early days, early stage cool, so both teams likely to perform quite well on this. Pretty comfortable. But quite likely neither team has a noteworthy advantage. I'll say Curtis, and for this is uh, very, very predictable. No curler. It's not not really his skill set, so it's not a big deal. But. Mark Rundi or Karinya. A Karinya really new on to the scene and a player I'm not terribly familiar with. But, uh, we'll see what he can do. Palm start proceedings with everyone still comboing, holding relatively high act. El Tundor Pasa, which uh, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure I want to keep saying that name, but uh, lightly lower act, building up again though.
Oh! Break from too slow. Maybe giving Germany a bit of an advantage here. Well, Germany's still holding strong. Canada gonna need to see a drop. Hopefully soon. Actually, Canada going to be seeing yet another drop, which is gonna be handing a pretty significant lead over to Germany at this point. It's gonna start growing. We're really start to get away from Canada here unless we see two breaks soon. Shark goes, just one more break, and maybe Canada has something in this. Might need more than that, actually, given that it's only a fourth of the map left. Already on the 700k for two of these players on Germany. Curtis FC will not be able to save this off alone, unfortunately. Looking to be Germany starting this match off with points on their own pick. Yeah, unfortunately, Curtis, in spite of having the highest stack in the lobby, pretty, pretty strong play from him. Not going to be enough. Pretty high scores across the board, though. No one really struggling with the map. And uh, as... Uh, Canada attempted to pick earlier. It's going to be the Nomad 5. The gimmicky Nomad reading. Kind of a cool map to see. I, uh, I imagine we're going to see a lot lower averages on this in terms of uh, scores and everything. One, I don't know really what to think of, honestly. Canada doesn't at a glance strike me as a roster that is super comfortable. I mean, if I were to make presumptions, maybe it would be Yip Vesper to cut paper in for this, but I think Germany can field a really strong roster on this, like this especially Curler Shark. Obviously pretty solid. It is the kind of map that pays dividends if you uh, put in the time to practice it. Could be that Canada made sure to do so. We're going to be seeing the pro again. Ah, 
始めましょう。All right, well, getting into this one. More early breaks, a bit of uh, the backdrop of the players. Kind of an uncharacteristic controller on pretty much nothing. Rated by Canada, though. We're going to be finding a miss of his own. Little question mark in smoke. It's just that kind of map. It's, uh, I think even if you put in the time and you're pretty comfortable on reading, it's uh, can't really be blamed for finding some strange misses on something like this on the time. We're staying really even between the two teams here. Not much of any give here. Under a hundred combo lead for Germany right now. Really does not mean much. Well, it appears, I mean, I feel I'm looking pretty comfortable, all things considered, on all this. Still awaiting another break here. Both teams doing really well on this map so far. Epic's actually going to be the player to find a break next. Germany. Shark as well goes. Actual meltdown for Germany. This lead is going to start going over to Canada pretty quickly at this point. Only about a fourth of the map left. Already about 100k or so lead for Canada. Really good. For them. Looking like cut paper in Vasprit bring this own. Vasprit will find a break, but honestly the lead is already so large. I think they have gotten away safely with this one. Cut paper still holding. Will he do it? Yeah, cut paper. Bringing home the FC for Canada. Very nice score. And a one miss for Vesperit. All right, well, Germany pick is going to be HR3. In the HR1 band, maybe there's something in there. It's going to be the precision, though. So, a bit of a difference in skill set, a bit of a difference in what kind of players are comfortable. But Germany with a pretty solid roster for this kind of thing.
We do not have a single Canadian player in the lobby. That is uh, impressive. We run to your car and you're Kriller for Germany and too slow yip and cut paper for Canada. On this precision pick. calm affair this map not uh not gonna throw anything too wacky at you and uh pretty consistent in difficulty it gets a little more space a little more action later on into the map you might start to see people missing but early on here much the expectation see everyone humbling here yep actually gonna be the first player to break here under aiming a burst there I believe gonna give Germany a bit of a lead Resting the halfway point here, the lead is going to start to grow a lot quicker. Mud paper also going to break, actually, really, really bad for Canada. Still the three FCs on Team Germany and the lead. Well, okay, all of Team Canada has broken. It is over. It's uh, going to be a very convincing point for Germany. Took a while for it to truly Canada to truly fall entirely out of contention for this one, but. In spite of Kriller's break here. A pretty menacing team score for Germany here. Basically a three-way. And uh, close to a million score gap, about 900k. Very strong pick from Germany. You know, decent performance from Canada as well. Germany just took it that extra mile. Pretty unfortunate. Canada to pick. If they can't. 
make something of this next opportunity as well. He did on the normal 5. No mod four. Pick for Canada. The tech to pick. You know another pick where I don't feel like this hits upon any real weakness on the side of Germany. It's uh, I'm just picking to comfort, picking to the team sheet. Maybe just a nomad kind of team. Okay, Germany's gone. That's cool. Astronic just qualified a Will Stetson song. Very impressive. I'll keep my statement about that to a minimum. I think I, uh, I think I should. I'll say this kind of pick is often very popular. It's uh, anything relatively uh, relatively conventional, not too gimmicky or straining, but not Nomad 1 or any of the consistency slots really tends to great favor with the uh, player base than to like picking into that, especially if it's a Nomad, especially uh, tech or alt. Okay, we're gonna be the first one to break here. And in a bit of a short map, so it might end up coming into play, especially with the break from the pro as well. El Condor Paso. Germany's still holding. Three way. Railer actually, again, the player to break for Germany. There's been a bit of a trend in this match so far, I feel like. Uh... Seen Kriller break first. Not to fret for Germany. Still, still got the two FCs. One on Canada, but the supporting combos are going to end up mattering a whole lot more, especially with the follow up break for Kriller. more than one might think. Germany ends up dropping one of these combos. I think this lead could rocket over to the side of Canada really fast. Okay, 
Actually, if everyone on Canada continues to combo, will they still take this? I'm not entirely sure. It's getting a lot closer. It's closing in slowly but surely. Is there enough time? Is there enough? No, unfortunately. Everyone comboing into the end there. Actually, really unfortunate for Canada. That's... It's a really close map. Very unfortunate slider breaks on the side of Canada here. Just an inch away. First break, first break point of the match will go to Germany and finding a bit of a lead, looking to consolidate that on this next pick. Germany giving it some good thought. I I mean, they might as well. Good opportunity to really turn this match in their favor. One up 4-1 would be a pretty, pretty massive advantage. They're going to make it good. They're going to make it Fremont 3. The Air 8 CS5, I believe. Yes, the Air 8 CS5 Custom, actually. One of two Customs in this pool, I believe. Going to be pretty much what you'd expect this slot. Bit of awkward aim. And uh, not too much of a reading element. But uh, you have the AR8 there. AR8 CS5. Map designed to test your patience more than anything else. What, man, what is the hold up every map? Do we have to do the editor method? I guess we do. Not that I don't understand. Just, uh... Got to get it going. Let's see the mod lineup. Two HRs for Germany. 
HDHR hidden for Canada. But you only need two mods in this tournament. There's no restrictions as to there has to be an HR and an HD player. Allowing Germany to just avoid the air rate hidden entirely. Rundi actually gonna find a break here. Giving Canada a bit of a boost. Already had a little bit of an advantage to the over mod. Especially with everyone holding such high act. Arinya, the only one under 99. We're falling down under as well. Anyone other than Rundi? Need to hold, actually. <laughs> well, unfortunately, as I say, that too slow finds his first break. And it does have a bit of a lead built up. I think this will start to go over to Germany, though, if Rundi continues to hold. Akarinya, though, unfortunately. Finds a break. Lead stays with Canada. Yip and Cut Paper continuing to hold for Canada. Coming to the end of the map here. I don't know if I want to mention the thing that's happening, because I feel like, uh, you know, if I do, I'll ruin it somehow. There's no question that Canada wins. He does it. Cut paper SS. Damn. Very nice. Very nice. First SS of the weekend, maybe? I don't know. Not, not keeping track necessarily, but... I have to assume there's not been many. It's a very nice score for cut paper and a very nice team score for Canada. Really, really competitive scores. So hidden two gonna be the pick for Canada actually. I think that's I think that's a wise decision. I don't know. I think they just SS that map and uh, you know it, it is quite a different kind of map, but I think that uh, one can rely on Cut Paper's hidden consistency and uh, just overall really how uh, Canada needs to do. I think both teams are playing quite well. Very high average scores. Pretty ridiculous score lines. Pretty tough taking a point here. I mean, pretty close to two FC or lose. Two FC or you lose, pretty much.
Well, this map, your uh, kind of light tech, low aim, cut, I don't know. It does a couple, I think flow aim is not really accurate, actually. That's probably not entirely right. I don't know, kind of, kind of light tech elements cut some uh, trickier transitions. That snaps between patterns. Transitioning from stuff into snaps. I'd say not too much of a rhythm element. It's uh, pretty light on that. Maybe a little bit of it. I think given that it's hidden, you could expect people to just kind of miss, much like Vesperit just did early on into this map here, but... Generally, being driven earlier around, I think it's still going to be the kind of map where you have to put up a very convincing team score to take it. Like the maps we've seen so far. Germany's still holding the three-way. Vesprit struggling to find his footing here, continuing to find breaks. Not the greatest it starts for Canada. At least this is a pretty short map. Vesprit really not having a good time with this one. I mean... Already at the halfway point and... Vesprit sitting on 170k. The anchor for Team Canada at the moment, unfortunately. Kind of holding them back. Epix does find a break. Maybe an in here. Canada miss for continuing to break. Yip also breaks, though, and that... That is probably going to spell doom for Canada on this pick, unfortunately. Dark and Kriller close this one out. No doubt about it. Is, is he really? Dark did break, but oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, Cut Paper has just dropped two SS's in a row. That's pretty... that is pretty ridiculous. Still drops the point. What a what a ridiculous set of two back to back SS is so insane. Even if it's an early pool and everything, like back to back SS like this, it's just crazy. Like. I feel bad for Cut Paper, but I do also feel a bit bad for Vesprit because it does feel terrible to be the player running it down that hard. I would know. Rather unfortunate for Canada. I mean, that should have been a good pick for Canada. You have a player who's SSing. That is... Incredibly painful. Germany goes up 4-2. to two. Get another breakpoint. For them.
You only need a pick, and uh... You're fine with it. What's your three gonna be the pick? The... Burst Year's speed pick of the pool? Not terribly high BPM, though, for, uh, for a speed pick. 50 or so. It has a couple doubles, some other stuff, but otherwise, just triples and five note bursts. Pretty uh, DNB in terms of the, the rhythm. The rhythm you play, at least. Be awesome if we got another FF. It's impossible though. Not to happen. No way. If anyone, maybe it's Curtis time to drop one. It's his turn. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to be happening. I think uh, Curtis missing the burst or something here in the beginning. Maybe literally looking away from the screen. Oh, actually, I wonder if also. On early break there, Shark is going to be dropping for Remini here a little bit later into the map. Ultimately, I mean, it's basically a 3 way It's a very, very early break. Bring the lead over to Canada here. Mark actually breaking again. It'll be a bit more consequential this time around. Pretty, pretty notable lead here for Canada now. Only about a third of the way through. So, no room for that to change.
That's the halfway point now, and... Ooh, still holding. Dark, recovering. Still the combo lead for Canada. And a lead that will start building... ...quite a bit shortly. Get out of this lower section. Oh my god. The pro... <laughs> the pro has broken. El Condor Pasa finds a break in the slow section on quite literally nothing. And Germany is all of a sudden back in it. Oh dear. This will go over. I'm quite sure this will go over. Things stay the same. Disaster. Shark actually breaks again. It's really close. I think Canada has it. I think Canada does still have it with Shark breaking. <laughs> just barely. Or, you know, not just barely, but still. It feels like it. Pretty decent lead on the side of Canada, really. 100k, but... Hut Paper, yet again, just... It might not be an SS this time around, but the man standing tall for Canada, dropping the FC. He is match costing right now. He is match cost warrioring right now. The Nomad 3 from Canada are going to be seeing even more than Nomad. <clears throat> I guess Cut Paper will just FC this as well. I think, uh... I think that's the standard he set. We'll have our nice little pause for everyone to look at it in the editor and uh, mess around. Funny, just earlier I heard people hating on this cover of it over the uh, preferring the Addo version. I probably I don't have very strong opinions on it, but it seemed pretty all right to me. Bye. 
Okay, well, it goes without saying that we're going to be seeing Pud Paper again. I think, uh, <laughs> I think that was never in doubt. We're going to see if he can put in the performance to carry Canada to a point yet again. Or if he'll still put up a carry performance and get weighed down by his teammates, unfortunately. I think either way at this point, it seems like uh, Cut Paper failing to perform is not really on the cards. Well, he does find an early break, but no reason to fret. I think uh, he will just not be SSing. Don't worry about it. This isn't really an SS map, either way. Uh, I think it has a bit too tricky, weird stuff in it. No need to worry about the jink. Totally fine. Someone who does maybe need to worry about things is El Condor Pasta, the pro. Finds a break here. We can go over to Germany here. Only the two FCs on the board still, Thriller and Yip, respectively. Actually, Cut Paper! Cut Paper finds another break. Might be a bit of a problem. The really important combos here are, of course, Yip and Kriller, really the people to look out for here. Still holding in this game. Uh, Karin Yaw finds a break though. Canada to take this back. Give it enough time. Fuck oh, paper finds a bunch of breaks. On the big stream of notes there, unfortunately. Combo lead, actually still in favor of Canada though, especially with the party not breaking there, again. It is so close. It is so obscenely close here at the end. A paper breaks again. Not to matter though. Two combos of consequence here for Canada, not breaking. And I think Canada has it. I do think Ca Canada does secure it. Very, very close at the end. Hut Paper, of all people, actually the one to bottom score for Canada here. But I mean, come on. He had to be given a break at some point. He's carried enough. Canada evening the matchup. Four to four. I think maybe a lot of people, including myself, underestimating Canada coming into this. I did expect this to not be as close as it has been so far. A very competitive map.
Well, what is Germany to pick? Starting to settle down the choice here. We're not not a lot of stuff open for them. I'll say that I have a hard time imagining them picking HR2. We'll pick anything other than that. Yes, DT4 will be the pick. I I wonder if HR2 will even be picked. I uh I have my doubts. In any match, that is. They're gonna be your uh, alt, high, high AR alt UT as, uh, as being uh, pretty meta for a while now. Pretty snappy. I think in keeping with uh, the top fifth, which uh, people be familiar with. Here we go. An early break for Curtis, but otherwise... Be comfortable. Curtis finds another break, which is going to hurt quite a bit more. Bit of a combo lead for Germany. Too slow breaking as well. About a third of the way through the map. Not the end of the world, especially with Kriller breaking. We'll stop the bleeding a little bit. Still not a very good situation. The two FCs on Germany. Starting now to grow pretty large. They're gonna want to see a break. One of these FCs soon. Arinya breaks too slow. Does trade, but this is a combo lead for Canada. It is not 
very big ones. The question is if it's po Curtis or Condorpasa both break. Which leaves no doubt, unfortunately, as to who's going to be taking this. Rundi, maybe... Maybe dropping the FC here. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Goes the wrong direction on the last slider. Oh no. I'll say, please... I don't know necessarily how likely one is to notice it on a slider like that, but please turn on snaky sliders. Just in general, you should have them on, I think. It's uh, probably a good idea. Oh, well, Germany! Germany on match point! Canada, their final pick here. Try to push this TB. I had to wager a guess. Maybe Fremont 2 or Nomad 1? I don't imagine they'd want to go for Fremont. Oh no, it happened. Okay, I was not expecting to see this at all. But it will be the HR2. Well. We'll see about the slider streams. Slider streams and uh, the reverses you have to aim in the middle of. There is a uh, there's a bit of stuff to break on in this one. This is a final match point pick. Is kind of crazy to me. I uh, I don't want to think about it. Uh, mutually assured destruction. Maybe, uh, the cut paper retard sitting on the bench last map is now ready to just slap Team Germany yet again. Feel like they'll need it. Honestly, I wonder if there will be even a single FC. I, uh, even with the players in this lobby, I think, kind, I think it kind of unlikely, <laughs> given what this map is.
We will have to wait a bit until we uh, get into the parts that we will break on. Still in relatively safe territory. The first live stream, Yip gonna be finding a break on that. That one is not nearly as hard as the uh, the real one that comes or the real ones that come later. Okay, I believe here. Yeah, no one gets caught out by that reverse. Germany looking really good on this so far. But... And now we're really getting into it though. Here we go. Shark breaks. Everyone on Team Canada breaks. That is it. I mean, they just lost the dice roll. That's it. Kriller did not. Kriller rolled his die just right. And Germany takes it. Yeah. I mean, this is why I was kind of stunned to see this as the last pick. Because this is pretty much what I expected. It's, uh, yeah. I really think, I really think, could have maybe gone for uh, something else here. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I think it's a really strange note to end this match on. Germany takes it before a tiebreaker, but Canada almost feel like they deserve a tiebreaker given how well they played. It's, uh... Just unlucky. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. For, uh, for this day's PwC matches. Well, uh, next match is set to be a, uh, a very early one. Indonesia Australia at 8 PPC tomorrow. So, uh, pretty tough time for, uh, for some, such as myself. But uh, I do believe it'll be streamed. We have, uh, we have Australians and such, you know, Asians. But, uh, otherwise, also China, France, and Brazil, Italy later on in that day. Tomorrow, be streaming every single match of the weekend. But uh, until then, we'll uh, we'll see you next time.